hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i thought i would do one of those like roundup um like compilation of like um patterns like i promised that i would it's there's so many patterns that i have that i want to share with you guys so i have a few more of these videos coming but for today's video i thought i would do um just compile a list of free patterns that you can do or knit for Christmas or just for gift knitting in general. So I think the title of this video is going to be 50 free patterns for gift knitting, something like that. And uh, I have been researching a lot. Obviously, I think a lot of these patterns I have actually saved or had saved for a really long time on Ravelry. So at the time that I'm filming this, all of these patterns are free. Now that can always change because with Ravelry, sometimes a designer will just like offer the pattern for free for like maybe a few months or a few weeks as some kind of promotion or something. And then it will go back to being paid for. But some of these have been free for a very long time. So I think it will remain that way. And also I didn't want to add anything big. Like I didn't want to have sweaters or, I mean, I do have some shawls in there, but I think a lot of these patterns are doable because they're quite small. So I have hats, I have mittens, I have, um, some scrunchies, I have pillow covers, <laughs> uh, I think I have a couple of ornaments, headbands, so many things in here. Um, I have all, all everything compiled here. So I will not be able to, I mean, I can't sit here and talk about 50 patterns. <laughs> and I think this will just end up being like a three hour video. So I, I haven't decided yet, but I'm pretty sure right now that I want to share maybe about 15 of them. Just the ones that I'm more likely to knit myself. Um, for gift knitting, I'm not the best at gift knitting. <laughs> Actually, that's it's a bit of a, an issue, but at the same time, it's not because I'm one of those people who thinks that it's okay to be a selfish knitter. Uh, but I also think if you want to gift knit, um, it's probably easier to uh, knit something smaller like this, something like a beanie, for instance. You know, it, it's something you could easily knit up in a week. And I hope this video comes at a right time because Christmas is basically here. We only have, I don't know, like six weeks or something to Christmas or less than six weeks. So a lot of these patterns are definitely doable. So we'll get into it. And also... Uh, I put it in my community tab a few days ago that I'm having a yarndy stash. So I'll put the first link uh, in the description is going to be a link to my D stash. So if you want to shop my D stash, I have random skeins of yarn there and it could be good if you want to use some of those yarns for uh, gift knits. So I'll leave the link down below. I just, I just want to get rid of the yarn because... It's yarn that I'm probably never going to use for anything again. So hopefully some of you will be able to get it off my hands. And I have tried to figure out a way to offer like cheaper um, international shipping as well. So make sure you check that out. Go to the link below and I'll have it up for, I guess, as long as everything sells out maybe. So yeah, go check that out. Okay, so... I'm going to start with the beanies first. I think I have about four that I want to share. And uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one. This one I've had saved for a very long time because it is pretty much the exact same as Petit Knit's Oslo Hat Mohair Edition. The Oslo Hat is very popular. The Mohair Edition, I have the pattern for and I've wanted to knit that for a really long time. It's even part of my fall knitting plans and I have the yarn for it. Now I'm thinking, okay, should I knit this one? Instead, it's called the Strickers Collins Hue by Pia Trans. So I think she might be, I'm not sure if the designer is Norwegian or Danish. I think she's Danish but the pattern is free in um, English. So it calls for a sport weight and a lace weight, which on Ravelry says equals a sport weight. But 
she also what i like about this is that she has a video linked i believe i think the video is still linked where you know the way the hoslo hat is uh constructed is the same as this one where you basically knit this like long band and you're supposed to like fold it so it's sort of like a triple folded hat so there is a lot of stock in it going on but if you enjoy basic stock in it this is probably perfect for you and there's a technique that is used to fold it into each um into itself and i believe there are some german short rows as well but petit knit also has videos linked in her on her website or maybe Kimi Monkom's YouTube channel but I think this could be good if you don't want to buy the Oslo hat pattern or maybe if you have the original Oslo hat and you want to knit the mohair version this could be great and honestly the reason why I'm thinking this might be great for me is because the yarn one of the yarns that I wanted to use for the Oslo hat mohair is a sport weight and then I have a lace weight to go with it so it's like bang on for what this calls for so i don't know and i think the regular oslo hat calls for a strand of fingering and a strand of lace but either way i just think it's a cute hat and i also like the labels that she's added i love that look so much and i have some i still have some of my labels so i could do something with that i could i could maybe knit it and somehow the gray she has three samples here in different shades of gray and it's just it's speaking to me even though gray never usually speaks to me so that's the strikers scullins here <laughs> okay the next one is called the antler uh, toque by tinkan knits tinkan knits is very popular they have a bunch of free patterns they have a sock pattern that is also here if you want to check it out in the bundle also if i didn't say before this i'm not going to list every pattern individually everything is going to be in the ravelry bundle so there's going to be a ravelry bundle linked down below and you click on that and it takes you straight to the um to ravelry where all of these patterns are listed i think it would be it would be way too too overwhelming to list everything one by one especially since i'm not going to talk about every single pattern in this list so uh, check out the bundle uh, link below. So this is by Tin Can Knits and it's a worsted weight and I love that they've shown what it looks like um, on both men and women in here. So if you love cables, honestly I think this could easily be a very simple cable knit. I don't see that there's any uh techniques that's maybe out there or too much to for a beginner to do. So I think it could be a good beginner pattern and it calls for a worsted weight yarn and it goes from a size of baby to adult large so that's one two three that's like four sizes so from 16 inches to 23 inches uh, circumference and uh, let's see if I were to make it in my size I think I would need about 175 yards and the yarn they used is Quince & Co osprey and then there's a bunch of i mean it's worsted weight so you could use pretty much any worsted weight yarn i tend to knit a lot with worsted weight so i think i probably have quite a few yarns that would probably work for this now it's not the style of hat that i would personally go for but i can see why the pattern is quite popular there's over 12,000 uh, projects on this on Ravelry so it's very popular one because it's a free pattern and two it's a cute hat so if you want to check that out that's the antler by Tink and Knits all right next up we have this one I'm definitely gonna knit actually I have cast it on I don't know where I left it now but I barely have anything done so I guess there's no real reason to show it to you but this is the mixed rib hat by Taylor Harris and this is for Pro Soho. So Pro Soho is a yarn brand based here in the US. I've used the yarns many times before and they tend to have a lot of free patterns. They have paid for patterns and they have free patterns on their website. So if you go on Ravelry 
uh, when you click on the link for to get the free pattern, it just links you directly to their web page. And you can uh, just get the full details of just the full pattern in on that particular web page. So there's no PDF. So this one comes in four sizes from baby, kid, adult small, and adult large. And it's Aaron weight. So I've cast on mine with the, what is it? Pearl Soho Plenty that I just used for another hat. And what I love so much about this is that, you know, it goes from a two by two rib to a wider rib. And somehow I really love the decreases at the top. And so far from all the pictures that I've seen, it seems like it fits um, quite snug on the head, which you guys know that I love. And I just, I love that look. I love the look of two by two rib folded and then moving into a much wider rib section love that and also it's uh 4.5 millimeter needles well we have two options you can do 4.5 or 4 millimeter and i decided to go for 4.5 just because i want to give my my hands a little bit of a break because the last hat that i knit I used 3.5s and it really killed my hands. It was so painful. But I think this will be easier if you... I technically tend to find 2x2 uh, two two rib easier on my hands. So I think this would be good for anybody who is scared of knitting a hat in 1x1 one one rib. So this is perfect. I would highly, highly recommend this. I mean, it's a very easy pattern. And you could easily knit this in maybe three days, two days, three days. It depends on how many other knits you're working on at the same time. All right, the last hat pattern that I'm going to talk about is called Jelka. Jelka. Jelka by Isabel Kramer. Isabel Kramer is quite popular on Ravelry. There's a few of her other patterns that I've saved. So this one really, I guess, spoke to me because it just gives off Christmas vibes. Just cozy Christmas vibes. It just kind of looks like the, the hat you would want to wear on Christmas Day or like on days leading up to Christmas. And I love the cute pom-pom as well. I tend to not go for hats with pom-poms. I don't know why it is. I just, I'm not the biggest fan of pom-poms, but I really like it with this. And um, it's on, it's, she used worsted weight yarn and four millimeter needles. And you can get okay so the yardage is 162 to 196 yards i don't know what i was trying to say there but this is also in english and it has six other languages danish french german italian portuguese and spanish and the yarn she's used is retrosaria rosa pomar brusca which is also a yarn i've heard so much about I, i'm gonna have to try that yarn one day but uh, it's just that's pretty much all I can tell you about it. It's such a basic hat and you know you get the little bit of color work there which is fun if you don't want to do something that's all over color work. This is actually perfect so and it's worked from the folded brim all the way to the top so it's a cute cute hat and when you look at it on first look it doesn't even look like the brim is folded but apparently it is so because i think in the picture she must have folded it inwards instead of outwards and that was what was throwing me off a bit in the beginning but this is the gel cup by isabel kramer uh if you want something something festive and it just doesn't even have to be a gift net for somebody you could it, i could imagine it being like a decor piece or something that could maybe go on a christmas tree or maybe that's maybe that's weird i don't know and i don't know if you can hear that the candles i, I think i forgot to trim one of the wicks and it sounds really loud like i can hear it just making that weird sound uh okay so next up we'll move into mittens now i have been loving <laughs> i've just i have i probably have saved 
at least eight or nine mitten patterns in this bundle so so many options for you guys to try out i just i can't stop thinking about mittens particularly color work mittens and this one is called the norwegian selbo mittens i mean everybody knows about the the selbo mittens they're very very popular there's a few other ones that are like paid for patterns and they seem there seems to be different motifs but uh I just this one caught my eye there's another one listed here which has slightly different motif but it's still the Norwegian silver mittens by a different designer and this one is by Stephanie uh, Kainich and she used DK weight yarn so in the I just looked through I've looked through the um, pattern because I'm definitely gonna be knitting this and she gave instructions so in the chart she has two different charts one that um, one is a chart for the right um, mitten. So basically you can use that one and then reverse it for the left. And then she has another chart that shows you basically what you, the full chart for both right and left. And it's a very short pattern. It's only about two or three pages. I've never knit, have I knit mittens before? I actually don't think I have. So, but I have so many of them planned and I just have random balls of yarn just everywhere. And I have uh, Gepard Puralana, which I have used a few times already in test knits. I have this color and this is color 832. This one I used for my tulip loop and I was thinking that I could hold this together with, uh, what is it? Mm. Drop Slima. I have some Drop Slima that I could hold this with. So this is just a bright, bright green. It's beautiful. And I also have this guy. This color is 132. And this is the one I'm using for the, uh, what is it? Boreas sweater by Egonet. I haven't finished the sweater yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have at least four skeins of this left. So I could get a hat and I could get uh some mittens out of it. And this is just a beautiful, beautiful ochre brown color. So that's the plan. I am hopefully gonna hold that with drops lima, but I also have another DK weight yarn that's like a cream yarn. I have to find that. I think it's in my stash somewhere. I, I'm pretty sure I still have it. So that could also be an option, but that's the one I want to use. Just a basic, if, you, if you're if you craving, and if you've been seeing all the like Norwegian style color work all over the internet, especially the mittens, I would highly recommend these. Um, I actually think I'm going to cast mine on today, actually. All right, next up is called the Traveling Cable Hand Warmers by Pro Soho. I love this. I mean, I love cables and I love having some kind of like fingerless um, gloves or mittens. I typically like to like in the the ones that I typically gravitate towards when I buy gloves. I like leather gloves and I like to um, um, get one of those like fingerless ones even though they're not the most practical because your fingers are still gonna be cold so I don't really know I, I just I really like these because of the cables and somehow when I first saw them they looked quite chunky so I thought okay this is probably worsted or iron weight yarn but it's actually not it's sport weight yarn and the yarn used here is uh, Pearl Soho Mulberry Merino and it only comes in one size so I'm thinking I think it's for like a medium sized hand, but if you wanted to customize this, you could easily just go up a needle size for um, the needles. So this is knit on 3.5 millimeters. So if you wanted to make it a lot bigger, you could either size up on the yarn or size up on the needles. So four millimeter or 4.5 could work. And uh, let's see, the finished circumference is six inches. Okay, it says it's, gonna fit most adult hands but i still really love it because the so the front of it is just has those like traveling cables and then the back uh where your palm is is just 
um, knit in a rib. And this could be a very, very fast project. I mean, every everything I'm showing you, well, maybe not everything, but 90% of these patterns are easy patterns that you can easily knit within a week so and that's good because Christmas is coming and you know we want to get those knits we want to get those gift knits out of the way so those are the traveling hand warmers by Pro Soho let's see how many more mittens did I want to share oh these oh I love these ones I have to knit this one I have to knit this this is called the Patronus mittens by Amanda Sund and this pattern is also available in English and this uh, if you don't know anything about harry potter this is inspired by harry potter so she says these mittens were inspired by the magical world of harry potter as well as some norwegian patterns so this comes in one size but in the pattern she had said that you can adjust it by going up a needle size or sizing up on yarn and this is knit in iron weight yarn in novita Seven Vilhesta. I know I totally butchered that, but it's the Aaron Weight yarn. I've used a, a different Novita yarn before, but uh, this is one of their Aaron Weight yarns. And uh, so, if you don't know anything about Harry Potter, the Patronus, I mean, I don't, I'm not like a Harry Potter fanatic. I just, I, I have. Um, read the books I've watched all the movies I much prefer the books but I recently watched the a few of the movies again I watched uh what is it the Prisoner of Azkaban and I think I also watched Goblet of Fire but it's Prisoner of Azkaban is the one where the Patronus comes out I believe and uh this just i don't know it came at the right time because i had just watched the movie and when i was doing the research for this i saw these and i was like perfect literally perfect so if you're even if you're not into harry potter i think this could be really cute i just i love the motif and i can see what she means by it being inspired by norwegian patterns as well because it still has sort of like that classic norwegian look to it so also another knit that could be really really fast so i would suggest you give that a try or you know just try something different it's really cute i think it will make a the perfect gift for anybody who's like a huge harry potter fan i mean imagine you giving them this on christmas day it would just uh, it would be amazing if somebody were to knit this for me and give it to me for on christmas or during the holidays i would be so so incredibly happy um i think that's all for the mittens now let's move on to socks so i have about three or four here but more in the uh, bundle and these are called the od socks by sari nordland and it's by novita but it was designed by sari nordland so if you go on the page i think it links you to lovecraft so you do have to I don't know if you have to sign in to Lovecraft, but uh, the pattern is available through there for free. It comes in three languages, English, Finnish, and Swedish, and it's only one size. So I noticed that a lot of free sock patterns on Ravelry tend to only have one size. I think that's something that is e also easily customizable because you know, with sock knitting, uh, I think everybody sort of has their own uh, number of stitches that they cast on every time for their size. So you could just plug that into the pattern, which I think is perfect. And what really made me gravitate towards these is I, there's this pattern by Knitonomy called the Minto Sweater. And it also has these sort of basically the exact same type of type of um braided cables so i think this could be really cute uh it's it's just simple classic there isn't a lot going on it is knit in um fingering weight yarn though so that could be i don't know if you're a really speedy sock knitter maybe you could try it out uh but then who knows if you if you were to cast on right away maybe it could be done before the holidays but because if you're like me and you uh tend to gravitate towards uh um, what do you call it 
textured knits, this could be perfect because that means that you're probably going to knit it faster, a lot faster than you would uh, maybe have thought before. I don't know, but I just really love them. I would love to knit them one day and I would love to knit them in white, just like the pattern photos. I just don't have any white sock yarn. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I, I definitely need to... I don't know, splurge on some really good sock yarn and just have a lot of sock yarn in my stash in general in different colors. But those are the OD socks by Novita. Next up, oh, these ones. I've actually had these saved for a while. This is called Bruno Stocken by Lene Ozet. I'm pretty sure she's Norwegian. And the pattern comes in English and Norwegian. It calls for DK weight yarn. I think I have some sock um, sock yarn in DK weight that I could use for this, but it's just a basic uh, sock pattern. Obviously, it's DK weight, so it's going to go by much faster. And again, it has that... Every time I see this motif, I immediately think, hmm, that's sort of like a classic Norwegian motif, I believe. So if you maybe don't want to knit the selbu mittens, you could go for the sock instead. And the color work doesn't cover the whole sock. So she gives two options for the uh, foot part. You could either do rib, I, feel, I think it's two by two rib, or just knit it in, in plain stockinette. If I were to knit this, I think I would go for just plain stockinette. And the only thing that's stopping me from casting this on right away is that I don't have, I would like to get DPNs in four millimeter needles. So it calls for four millimeter and 3.5 millimeter. And you could either choose to have a snug fit. So the sizes one and two, size one is the snug fit and two is the slouchy fit. And I'm probably going to go for the snug fit, but this is definitely a pattern that I really want to knit. Uh, I have looked through the pattern. It's quite easy to follow. The chart is really short because you're only doing it for the leg portion and the leg is also not very long. So yeah, that's the Bruno Stoken. All right, next up. Okay, I have two more socks. Next up is, these are the Heidi uh, Leg Warmers by Irene Lin. Irene Lin, I think she's from Taiwan, but she has so many stunning um, cable designs, textures designs. And this one is in one size, but there is a video on how to knit this. So she linked a video um, on YouTube that I think it's just a short tutorial of how to knit them. But I really love this because it, it's got cables and it's got uh, a little bit of what kind of looks like brioche. And leg warmers are not really, I don't really see them. I, I, I don't see a lot of people wearing them either. So that's something quite interesting. I would love to knit these. And she used Gepard Woolia. I have a bunch of Woolia in my stash. I just think if I were to knit this, I should probably go for something of this color. I just think of leg warmers and like a white creamy color as sort of like classic with, um, I don't know, if you're like into Uggs or just boots and it could be really cute. And I just, I love how she styled it with uh, one of the other patterns that she just released and she just has some tights and it's just, it's beautiful. And there's not much information on the pattern itself because it only comes in one size and it requires 4.5 and 3.5 millimeter needles. It's Aran weight, so any Aran worsted weight would work. And um, you need about 300 yards. So I think it's doable. I think it's doable. I'm putting it on the maybe list for myself. It's, you know, it's interesting because I, I think so far in this video, I've been talking about, oh, I want to knit this, but I haven't actually said that I want to knit it for anybody else. I've just been talking about how I want to knit it for myself. So that, that would give you a little bit of, um, an insight into how my brain works when it comes to knitting. I never ever think, oh, maybe I'll knit this for this person. 
it's so weird <laughs> but i think i'm just so accustomed to knitting for myself only that it, it just never occurs to me that oh maybe maybe i can knit this for that person i don't know but uh this is for you guys not for me but last sock pattern um oh these are so cute these are the tiny tree socks by summer lee summer lee is like the queen of colorful socks i mean just if you go on her recovery page it's just it's hard not to get inspired it's hard not to want to cast on all the sock patterns that she has and these are just tree ornaments i think the pattern came out a few years ago i remember saving them when they came out so it's just one size and it's perfect for stash busting just random skeins so maybe you have like 10 meters here another 10 meters there you can just combine all of that together to make uh, some of these you could i mean they're so um quick that i've seen that a lot of people in ravelry have made tons and tons some people have made like dozens of these and they've made it into some kind of like garland it's it's so beautiful and you could just play around with all the different sock yarns that you have uh unless you don't have any stock uh sock yarn in your stash in which if you were to buy like two or three skeins you would probably get a ton of these socks and yeah they're very festive i love all the colors she's used in hers and you just tie a string and put it up on the tree it's it's easy perfect and let's see okay you see <laughs> this literally only uses 26 yards of yarn that's insane i i knew it was gonna take up very little yarn but i didn't think it was gonna be that little but yeah 26 yards 2.25 millimeter needles i mean this this is just like a basic uh um uh, sock i mean it's not there's no texture nothing you could do stripes you can use a speckled yarn whatever it is you want to do so those are the tiny tray socks i think they're perfect just i think this is probably what i would um maybe not i want to i don't want to say recommend the most but i just think because they're so they're so small and they take very little time and very little yarn this could be something you could not only knit for yourself and your family but everyone else if you and just match with everyone else i don't know i i think they're really cute they're really cute i really love them so those are the tiny tree socks by summer lee all right i think that's all for socks let's see i think i have some bandanas and I also have some scarves. Okay. All right. This one is actually um, like a bandana type of thing. It's called the Press Flowers Kerchief by Amy Christoffers. I mean, Amy Christoffers and her Press Flower pattern, they've taken the whole knitted world by storm. She has the shawl. She has, I think she has a sweater. She has a cardigan. It's just, and then this one, I really like that she offered this for free. So you could use this as a cute bandana or just have it around your neck. And it comes at only one size and uses DK weight yarn on four millimeter needles. So this is definitely doable for somebody like me where I've had the pressed flower shawl on my mind for a really long time. But I just, I don't see myself knitting it anytime soon just because it seems like... It would be the most exhausting thing to knit i can imagine it taking me i don't know probably a year or two to knit but i really do love the look of this and yeah they're just very basic and it calls for one skein of yarn each so you could possibly knit this with about a hundred meters of yarn and uh the way this works i believe if i'm not mistaken is that it's mosaic knitting so you're not really knitting with two strands at the same time you're either you're just like either knitting one color or slipping one color so that makes it quite easy to follow but there's a ton of projects here there's almost 300 projects on Ravelry so if you're looking for any like color inspiration you can go on there and 
check all the projects so many people have knit this and i think a lot of people are, are using it just as an accessory for their neck i personally would probably use it as a bandana which means i would probably have to do like a crochet or like an eye cord string on either end and turn it into a bandana uh so that's the pressed flowers kerchief and then next up this one i really like this one i just i thought it was just something a little bit different so this is called the easy does easy does it cabled era by jerry grubberg and it's dk way um shawl this is very very similar to the sophie shawl by petite knit but with a twist because you get cables on the edges so the the original uh sophie shawl which i have knit multiple times i love it i love that pattern i love the shawl it it has um what is it I cord on the other side like an I cord edge but this one has a cable on either side and I just thought that was so nice and unique and the pattern literally just came out I think she just released it last month so there aren't a ton of projects here on Ravelry but such a lovely detail because on either end you could do right cables or left cables and it just it just adds something a little bit different to such a basic simple piece and um if you wanted to it to maybe go by faster you could probably cast on with worsted or iron weight because this is dk weight and i imagine that would take a much longer time to knit a shawl that you want to wrap around you uh, multiple times it only comes in one size and it's 95 inches wide and 14 inches deep so it's a i think it's much longer than the sophie actually yeah, it's much longer than the Sophie, but it's beautiful. It's stunning. I just love to see something a little bit different, you know. And that's the Easy Does It Cabled Era. All right, next up. I think this is another. Is, it, is that the only shawl? I have probably two more shawl patterns um, listed in the bundle, but that's the only one I'm probably going to talk about right now. And next up, I want to talk about all oh, these. I, I I saw these everywhere. I think a year or two ago. But these are these have been on Ravelry since 2010, and these are just the uh, what do you call it? Well, why is it why is this escaping me now? They're just a star ornament. Oh my gosh! Why did that? Oh, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, okay, it's a star, but what is it? <laughs> but it's just a basic ornament for your tree. And I don't know. I think I've seen a bunch of podcasters knit this a few years ago. And uh, it uses very, very little yarn. It's DK weight yarn, three millimeter needles. And you need between 35 to 50 yards and it's just basic there's literally only one picture up here on Ravelry and I'm guessing it's because there's really not much to them but they're just really really cute and I think you can knit this on DPNs as well so we'll see yeah is it is there an option I think so but magic loop will probably be best for something like this I'm not really sure how that would go I'm also not really sure if it's something i think they're really cute they're really pretty i just wonder if it'll be too fiddly for me to figure out but i can see why there's uh, there's over two thousand projects here so lots of people have been knitting these in multiple colors and different just different versions here oh i see somebody who knitted in patent oh they're so cute Oh, now that I'm looking through the project pages, I'm like, oh, I need them because I just saw a picture of somebody um, who has put like a few of them on her tree and they're just, they're so cute. Uh, I, I don't know. I was thinking that I probably wouldn't knit them, but now that, now that I see that, I'm like, oh, maybe, maybe I should knit them. All right. I want to talk about, oh, maybe two more patterns. Let's see which ones. Which one should I do? Hmm. Okay. All right, we'll do this. 
This is the Celtic Knit Aran Pillow by Glenna C. And it uses up Aran weight yarn and 4.5 millimeter needles. And you only need about 550 yards of yarn. And they're just a stunning, stunning piece of... Oh, I don't know how to describe them, except that they are just Celtic cables. And there's tons of different color options here, tons of projects. It's only one size. And let me see. Okay, it, it is for a 16 inch. Okay, I thought it was 18 inch, but it's for a 16 inch uh, square pillow, which I think is the same size as the other pillow that I did. But uh, also one thing I didn't realize about pillow covers is that you need to go up a size for the pillow insert. When I knit mine, I use the same um, the same size for the pillow insert. So my uh, actual pillow size, pillow cover size was 16 inches and I got the same 16 inch insert, but apparently that isn't what you should do. And I kind of get that because my pillow looks a little bit flat. So I should have gone up a size for the insert. Just, just a tip in case anybody wants to know that, but these are really pretty and if you're into cables, but you want a smaller project, then I would 100% recommend this. All right, next up is, this one is actually by Petite Knit. These are the Holy Bow. Uh, this came out, I think last year. And uh, Petite Knit actually has another, she probably has a few other free patterns. For some reason, the free patterns aren't as popular, which is strange, but maybe it's because they're more like festive. But this is perfect for Christmas, literally perfect for Christmas. And um, it's just a basic uh, bow and you can add some decorative uh, ribbon and buttons in there. It's really beautiful. I think she used one of her own buttons that she sells in her store. And <laughs> these are, you could easily make like five of these in the same day, but they're so pretty. And it uses DK weight yarn, uh, three millimeter needles. And <clears throat> I hope you can hear that guys. If you hear that, it's just the the heater making that huge that noise. So, but we're rounding up. So hopefully you won't have to hear that for a very long time. But uh, these are so pretty. I just I love the whole vibe with the with the button and the the ribbon because I think this I don't know it's something you could put on your tree but you could also put it in your hair I don't know it's just it's so cute I, I can imagine this being a really cute gift for um, like a child or an adult it doesn't really matter but they just really scream Christmas to me just this is just the ultimate Christmas vibe to me and I just I love them so much so that's the holy bowl by petite knit and I'm trying to see if there's another one I should talk about but I think that should do it because I I think I've talked about everything in almost all the categories I do have a few more pillow patterns um, in the bundle that are sort of like charted color work uh what else what else what else mm. yeah i think that's everything <laughs> I, I don't know how long i've been talking i just i didn't want to make this video way too long just because i don't know i think in the past i do a lot of roundup videos where i'm literally talking for like an hour and that's not really ideal because my throat literally gets raw and painful after that and it takes a few hours to recover but i guess i forgot to show you these other yarns um obviously you've seen them if you've watched my podcast before but i think these are the two colors that i'm going for for the oh what is it the norwegian uh, mittens that i just shared the petrolus one and one of the other uh, Selbo mittens. So this is just leftovers from a project that I just did. And this is Woolia in, this is 754 
and this is 480 so that's aubergine and uh, cobalt blue and I'm gonna pair those together with uh, there's another random skein of yarn that I have from Lovecrafts or what is it valley yarns that I'm gonna hold together to knit those I don't know I I'm thinking I didn't show these but if I did I guess I'll have to cut this part out but that's pretty much everything I am so glad that I didn't sit here for like two hours talking but I mean if you guys want a two hour video from me then just let me know and I, I would happily sit here for two hours and ramble on and on but that's pretty much everything I will go ahead and edit this don't forget to check my yarn d stash guys i i just want i want all of those yarns out of my life right now i just want them gone and i want other people to be able to use them and enjoy them so check out the link below and uh i will edit this and hopefully post it and the next video you get from me is probably gonna be my podcast episode uh, later on in the week or towards the end of the week I have some finished objects that I think you guys would be excited to see. So thank you so, so much for tuning in today. And also, if I forgot to mention, like I always forget, I... <laughs> look at me just not mentioning it until the very last minute i'm wearing this is my free dag cardigan i've worn it in a few other episodes before this is by afton strick and it's called free dag f i f r i d a g and um, this is the round neck version i've also knit the v-neck version before but i i, I tend to really prefer the round neck cardigans these days but i like the round neck version a lot more and i knit this with lion brand fisherman's wool so i wear this a lot it's one of my favorite cardigans and that's pretty much it so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye